I was just in Wyoming. If you guys get a chance to go to Wyoming, be very careful driving. I couldn't even see across the street because the air was so thick with boredom. I stayed in a horrible hotel. My dog jumped off the bed and rubbed his butt on the rug. And all I could think was now I gotta wash his butt. My God, they had like five religious channels on the cable TV there. I didn't, I didn't know what they were. Some woman comes out reading off sins. I thought they were things to do in town. <laughs> I was like, wow, the community update is very thorough on this channel. <laughs> and then I was, in, uh, I was in Elko, Nevada. If you get a chance to go to Elko, Nevada, pass that up, I'll tell you. <laughs> That's a crazy place. I met a woman, she said she moved there from Montana. I said, why? She said, the Lord sent me. I said, have you been outside? <laughs> the Lord has never been here. <laughs> you must be the scout. <laughs> and then I was in Reno, Nevada. Very exciting when I was in Reno. The police went on the news. They were looking for a woman who had stolen a baby out of the hospital. And they described her as being over 400 pounds and wearing hot pink stretch pants. And immediately, my heart went out to the pants. <laughs> and then I got thinking, maybe she's a criminal genius. 400 pounds and hot pink stretch pants? Who'd notice a baby? <laughs> That's a smart lady, man. All criminals are not that smart. I heard about this guy in LA, got in a car accident, hit a cop car, and then fled on foot and got hit by a train. <laughs> I know. I thought, dude, how bad are your observational skills? <laughs> you know, even Stevie Wonder would have missed the train. <laughs> and then I thought the funniest thing was, you know, after he hit that cop car, he had to be thinking to himself, man, that's the worst thing that could have happened to me today. <laughs> Pow! I stand corrected. <laughs> We're very hard on criminals in California. We have the death penalty. You guys have that? Do you? Yeah, good. You should. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> not, not at your house, sir. Uh, that's, we have that. And you know, uh, whenever I talk about the death penalty, people always come up to me and they say, well, could you pull the lever? And I always say, yes, uh, but I don't think they'll give that job to a comedian. <laughs> I think they know a comedian have too much fun with this, you know? We'd be standing there going, zzz, zzz, zzz. <laughs> Hey, your hair looks great. <laughs> Is that the governor? Sigh.